Y'all, I just inhaled it. Oh my god. <laughs> hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Zaria, if you don't know me. And in today's video, I'm doing a girls night out, get ready with me. I'm doing my hair, my makeup, and my outfit. Please remember to like, comment, and of course subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna see how I got this girls night out look, then keep watching. Okay y'all, so I'm starting with my eyebrows done. Um, you guys have seen me do my eyebrows a million times, so I was like, we just gonna cut it out this video because if you wanna see how I do my eyebrows, I'm just gonna link it above. What else? PSA, my nails look a mess. We're, we're not gonna talk about it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna ignore that because it is what it is. They're gonna get done, don't worry. My eyebrows are done. I primed my eyes so I can get started on my eyeshadow. And don't talk about my nails. So, <laughs> I'm gonna start with eyeshadow, of course. I just primed my eyes. I'm gonna be using the Naked Heat palette. I'm gonna go into the darkest brown. It's called Ashes. And I'm just gonna take this dark brown and I'm gonna put it right into like my crease area, like outer crease. I actually tested out like a few different browns from like three different eyeshadow palettes and this was like the darkest one. This is what I was going for. Okay, so this is definitely the look that I'm going for as far as like my crease. It's coming out good so far, so I'm excited. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my crease and I'm gonna use the Uoma Woke Concealer. This is the concealer that I'm using. It's the Uoma Woke Concealer. You guys saw this in my black owned makeup brands video and the shade is Honey Honey T1. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that to cut my crease. This was like, it's a little bit thicker. Um, I am gonna go ahead, mm, don't, yeah, I'm just gonna apply it. Honestly, like, we're just gonna see how it goes. It is what it is. To cut my crease, I'm gonna look up, see where that line is. That's where I'm gonna cut my crease. While I'm cutting my creases, I might as well just talk to y'all. Um, <laughs> So I started watching um, this show, right? And it's called Love Listings. So let me know if y'all seen it before. I just started watching it and like, it's kind of weird because I started watching it and it was like the episode right before the season two finale. So like, I kind of like knew what was gonna happen, but like it's reality. So you never know all the past stuff that happened. So I started watching it from the beginning. But let me tell you, girl, this show is messy, okay? like. Oh my gosh, reality TV, I swear, is a mess, but like, it's my guilty pleasure because it is just so funny. Like, you got people sleeping with married men, well, engaged men. I don't know if you guys watch the show, but if you watch the show, let me know what you think. Do y'all think that he's lying about not sleeping with that girl, or do you think he's telling the truth? Me, personally, I think he's lying because like, I just personally can't think of any reason as to like what she would have to lie about. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like he has a reason to lie because he got a whole fiance. You know what I'm saying? Like he don't want to lose what he got going on with like his girl and stuff. So it's kind of just like, of course he's gonna lie and say that he's not doing anything. And you know, also like dudes just be lying. Like, <laughs> so yeah, comment if you guys think, comment who y'all think is lying. Cause somebody lying. But um, if y'all watch the show, let me know because I do wanna talk about it, it's so funny. I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna use, what color? Oh, I'm gonna use this color. Ooh, wait, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna use the Brown Sugar Palette from ColourPop and the color that I'm using is, the color that I'm using is Soleil. Whoa, it's definitely not called Soleil, it's called Sorel. Wow, I don't know where I got that from. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so I'm gonna dip it into that color. I'm gonna put it in my like outer crease and kind of just like blend that in there. Okay, now I'm going back into the Naked Heat palette and I'm using the lightest color. It's called Ounce and I'm going to put that on the inner part. I'm gonna start on this eye. I really wanted it to be like really, really light. But this is like the lightest color that I had. So I might have to see if I have something lighter for real, for real. I might have to look a little harder. Yeah, I don't know if that's light enough for me. Hold on, let me see. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my box of crayons palette and I'm gonna use the white color, white. And hopefully this gives me the look that I'm looking for. I hope it's not like way too bright, but like I definitely need it to be lighter than it was. Okay, that's, that's helping a little bit. I didn't, as you can see, I didn't like OD on the white. Oh, 
Okay, that's more like what I wanted. So I'm gonna go back into the ColourPop palette and use that same brown I used before. And I'm just gonna kind of blend it back in. Okay, so boom, exactly what I wanted. And now I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs eyeliner. This is what it looks like. I literally love this eyeliner, you guys. Like, this is probably one of my, this probably is my favorite eyeliner, to be honest. Like, I really like this eyeliner. Okay, so eyes are basically done. Um, we're gonna move on to the face now. And today I wanna use Bare Minerals Foundation. Now we're gonna move on to setting spray because I wanna do my setting spray before my highlighter. I usually try to do that, but sometimes I'd be forgetting. Definitely does take away from your highlighter. I mean, it still be popping, but. I think it just makes more sense to do setting spray before doing highlighter. And yes, I'm cleaning it off because it was dirty. But I'm using the Fenty setting spray. And I'm just gonna spray it all over my face. Oh, why I feel like it's not coming out? It's like misting, like it's, it's not enough of it coming out. <laughs> Y'all, I just inhaled it, oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna try this again. Okay, it went much better that time. And now I'm gonna go ahead and, wow, how did I not contour my face? Like, girl, what's wrong with me? It's kinda late for that now, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. What the, what is wrong with me? That is so crazy, like, I don't even think I've ever forgotten to do that before. Like, what is going on? Um, it is what it is. So we gonna contour. Um, I'm gonna use this Beauty Bakery Brownie Bar Face Palette. This is what it looks like. And I'm obviously gonna use the dark color right here. I literally can't believe I forgot to do this. Like, what? Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on in there. There we go. Now my face got a little dimension. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try to like blend it a little is weird because I usually do this before I do blush so now it's kind of like backwards but it's cool it's fine we will pull it together because that's what we do okay we're doing better I'm gonna also use it to contour my nose I don't know if you guys noticed I mean maybe you have but like I have no like bridge like my nose is flat like it's just like a button like this part doesn't like come out like how it does on everybody else so i really be having to contour my nose and like i don't know i feel like sometimes it looks more contoured but you know other times i just kind of feel like i have no hope <laughs> it's crazy because for somebody who doesn't have a bridge i sure be forgetting to contour my nose like even when i remember to contour i sure be forgetting to contour my nose okay now it kind of looks like i have a bridge now right period it's all an illusion um, okay, so now I'm gonna highlight, if I can find my highlighter, which I definitely did take out. Oh, here we go, right in front of my face. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place Nefertiti Highlighter. Okay, so now that I'm all highlighted, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. We are doing a new lip today. Y'all, I know y'all probably be making fun of me because I always use like an eyebrow eye pencil from the beauty supply store for my lip liner. But I just wanna show y'all that I really do be having lip liners, but I do not like any of them. Like, I feel like I'm just terrible at choosing lip liners because I literally just swatched all these lip liners and none of them are like freaking the color that I want. Like, they're just either like too red or too, purple like i don't have like that perfect brown so like i don't know if you have any recommendations let me know but for now i'm gonna use the eyebrow pencil because it is the perfect brown um <laughs> but first i'm gonna sharpen it the only thing i hate about using an eye pencil for like my lip liner is i feel like it doesn't just blend on its own as well. So I have to like use my fingers and like 
blend it around but it's totally fine um <laughs> i'm just gonna take the nyx butter lipstick because honestly the lipstick is just a really good nude so yeah i'm taking the nyx butter shade and you guys know I love a glossy lip, so we can't stop there. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and add me some lip gloss. I'm just using one from the beauty supply store because you know, they always come through anyway. Okay, so boom, this is basically the look. You guys know I love to add me my beauty marks. Um, I add one right here because I actually have one right there. And then I just add more wherever I feel like it. Um, So yeah, that's basically the makeup look. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my hair now. It's been under this wrap, literally like, I mean, obviously the whole time I was doing my makeup. So this is what we got. I literally have like a whole like imprint on my head from this wrap, but it's totally fine. Um, and also like my makeup of course is not, it's okay, we gonna fix it. Okay, so as you can see, I already installed this wig. I just need to go ahead and style it. Just don't comb through it real quick. Then I kind of want to do something else with my hair, but I don't know. Like I already done hot comb the middle part, but it's okay. Um, I kind of want to do like a half a pep down, not even gonna lie. So, um, I think I'm gonna just go for it because, I don't know, I just wanna do something different. I feel like I've been doing middle parts like a lot lately, so I'm just gonna have to hot comb it again. Like, it is what it is. I'm really about to have to sit here and redo this whole part. Ugh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Making progress. What's crazy is I don't even think I got a hair tie right here. Like, now I'm about to get up again. Oh my gosh, I apologize for all this deodorant that y'all are seeing. Like, that is so not cute. <laughs> okay, I need like to get my life together. I need my brush and I need a hair tie. So let me go get that and then come back because obviously I'm not prepared. <laughs> Okay, I'm back and I'm better. I'm prepared this time around. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and brush my ponytail up. I love this brush because I'll be using it on my real hair and my wigs and stuff. So I'm definitely gonna need some hairspray. I literally hate the process of doing a half up, half down, which is why you guys literally never see me do it. Um, but I need to change up my hairstyle, so. And then look, there go that middle part peeking through. Like, what in the hell? Why did I make that middle part so strong? Like, whew. okay. Hold on. That is like much better. And then let me um spray it. Um, I have two sprays. I have um the pump it up spray. I like this one because it smells good. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and brush this up into place. I probably just edited so much of that out, but like it just it took me forever to even get to this point. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have it, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little piece and wrap it around the hair tie because don't nobody wanna see that. I didn't even tell y'all what I was doing, um, but yeah, I was just wrapping it and spraying it with a got to be so that it stays in place. Okay, so now I'm gonna curl it.
Okay, y'all, so I'm finished with my hair. This is how it came out. I definitely just realized that I forgot to put on eyelashes. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm forgetting to put on a freaking contour. I'm forgetting to put on eyelashes. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's okay. We're gonna pull it together. It's totally fine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some eyelashes. Okay, so we're done. Got the lashes on, hair's done. So basically, this is um, the look as far as hair and makeup. I feel like the makeup, look, I'm over here peeking at my monitor, looking over here because I wanna see what I look like. Um, but I definitely feel cute. I feel like the makeup came out really cute. Came out exactly how I wanted it to. Um, I don't really do half up, half downs often. So this is definitely like a little weird, but it's totally fine. <laughs> I feel like it just has to like kind of grow on me a little bit, but. I do feel cute, so that's a good sign. But let me go get dressed for you guys so I can show you guys the whole fit, the whole look, the whole mood. <laughs> so, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm in my bathroom. I'm gonna show you guys my little outfit. Um, I don't have a full body mirror, so I'm so annoyed that I can't show you like everything at the same time, but this is like the furthest shot that I could get. So I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna show you guys what the outfit looks like. So basically I chose this leopard print, or is this cheetah? This animal print top. I thought it would just be like really cute. Like it gives me very like girls night. Like, you know, we, you know, we wilding, you know, not too much. But <laughs> I thought it would be like really cute and then I paired it with this black skirt that I thought was like adorable. Just very like, you know, one of the basics that you just need in your closet all the time. I felt like together they would be like really cute. And then I added these earrings. Let me get closer and show y'all. So yeah, I added these like chain earrings because I thought they would be cute with this outfit obviously, which is why I added them. Um, but yeah, these earrings I thought would be really cute. Um, I didn't do a necklace because I feel like whenever you're doing like big ass earrings like this, you don't really need a necklace but I don't know sometimes you can't do a necklace honestly I'm tripping I could have done a necklace but yeah I don't know I like how it came out and let me show you guys my shoes they're just some nice little strappy stilettos I thought they were really cute with the look Okay, y'all, so that will be the end of today's video. I hope you guys loved it. I hope you guys love the hair, the makeup, the outfit, the whole entire look. It's a mood, it's a vibe. I hope you loved it. Please, please, please remember to like, comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Also, go over to Instagram and follow me there too because any look that I do on my channel, there's pictures for it on Instagram. So definitely head over there and follow me there too. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I really, really enjoyed filming this for you guys. Even though I had to do this outro like four times in order to get it right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.